Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome to the second video in our series about how to conduct FBA product research using eGro. As a reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so you'll be notified when the next video in the series is released. Today's video will be all about how to use the database research tool in combination with the product tracker to find that perfect product to start selling. Keep in mind that we will primarily be discussing research strategy. If you'd like to learn more about how to use any of eGrow's tools, you can find links to video tutorials in the description below. To begin, we need to determine what categories, if any, we want to restrict our product research to. It is my belief that with the right strategy, you can be a successful Amazon seller in any category. However, there are a few tips that I can provide to make things a bit easier when you are first starting out. When researching baby products or health and household products, make sure the item that you decide to sell isn't a medication or liquid that is designed to be ingested or applied to the skin. Also, you might consider avoiding products that could cause serious injuries, such as sharp knives or power tools. These are just suggestions to help you avoid accident liability. You also need to be aware of what categories are gated or restricted for new sellers. All of this information can be found within your seller central account. Lately, I've been finding success in the home and kitchen category. So let's make that the focus of our research today. I'd like the price of the product to be between about $20 and $60. This ensures that the product won't be too expensive to source while still providing enough profit per sale. I'd also like the product to sell a significant volume so let's set the minimum estimated sales to 300 per month. I also want to restrict the weight of the item to three pounds to cut back on shipping and storage costs. Finally, I'd like to see products with a listing quality score of six or less, because this tells me that I should be able to make more sales than the existing sellers by optimizing the listings. I'm not going to include any keywords from my initial search, but I will limit the product results to items that are being sold by other FBA sellers. Now let's click search and take a look at the results. As you can see, the database research tool has returned a ton of results for us to observe. Right off the bat, I see a couple of interesting products here. But before we take a look, I want to start off by mentioning this glass. I usually try to stay away from products like this that are made of breakable material because it can be easily damaged during shipping, which will reduce my profit. One product that I do particularly like are these wooden bowls. We see that it meets all of the criteria we set above, and it has a good rank that demonstrates significant sales without being overly competitive. For this reason, I'm going to add this product to my product track. Now that we are here in the product tracker, I'm going to add a tag to this product so I can filter it based on category as I continue to research more products. Let's add a tag called household. When I first add a product to the product tracker, the first thing I like to do is take a look at the graph. This particular graph already has over three months of historical data, which is super helpful when deciding whether or not to sell this product. I like to monitor the price, BSR, and estimated sales because these metrics do a good job of telling a story for this product. Based on what we see here, it looks like everything was going well until early September when sales took a hit. This had a very negative impact on the BSR, and while it looks like these metrics have since rebounded, they have essentially flatlined and are not as appealing as they were a couple months ago. Despite having significant historical data on this product, I'd likely wait at least a couple of weeks to see if a new trend is established before making a decision about whether or not to pursue sourcing this product. In the next video in this series, we will discuss a different research method using both the keyword and niche tool as well as the live Amazon scanner to find related products within a niche that has significant potential. If you got something out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below with any additional questions that you have about product research. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.